Everybody was Kung Fu fighting. So Karen was actually born and raised in Brooklyn, New York. Karen actually did a lot of modeling, which is how she met her first husband. They met at New York Fashion Week. Love at first sight. They got married. It was a beautiful wedding, but it wasn't long after that. Well, Karen found out that he'd been unfaithful. One day, Karen and her first husband went on a yacht, just like they do every weekend, but only one of them came back. They never found his body. Karen met her second husband when she was shopping in Paris. Lovely man. They instantly hit it off. Got married in Vegas like six weeks after they met. Soon after that, her second husband started getting sick. And I mean like really sick. Karen insisted on bringing him a drink every single night. And he kept drinking them. It wasn't a month and a half. Heart attack. Karen met her third husband at wakeboarding school. Now her third husband, her third husband I think she actually really cared about. Unfortunately, he just couldn't put up with her anger issues and how grumpy she is all the time and her constant red wine drinking. <gasps> he was going to divorce her. He had all the paperwork filled out. And then one day he just disappears. I don't know. Maybe, maybe he just left. Or... I'm not saying that you shouldn't love Karen to death. I'm just saying she might love you to death. I think you just need to acknowledge that you're attracted to toxic people. Maybe just always have 9-1 dialed on your phone just to be safe. Oh, she's coming. She's coming. Okay, I have a question for you guys now. Do you think I have an unlimited wig budget? Like, like I have some bottomless tub of wigs that I draw from? It's just not fiscally responsible. But if it works, it would be an investment. And let's be honest, it's been a while since I've summoned a good head injury. I'm feeling a bit nostalgic today. Stanley already knows he's gonna look way better in it than I do. Okay, so this one doesn't work. Okay, so uh, we'll maybe put this one tentatively in the no pile. It's definitely not like a hard no because I'm still around. Uh, got me in the ribs that time. We'll maybe just say hard no. This one doesn't make her feel, doesn't exactly make her feel safe. With one eye open. Oh, this? We're workout buddies. Karen and I do our very best to motivate each other as authentically and organically as possible. My method tends to look a little more like gentle parenting, whereas Karen's is a little bit more aggressive. I just don't, I don't want anybody to lose sight of the fact that Karen is a great workout buddy and very very motivational oh unfortunately for me i was having a good day you might be asking yourself why is that unfortunate you're having a good day the good day in and of itself Is not a bad thing. See, my problem was that I let Karen know I was having a good day. 
Look, I don't think it's necessary to revisit this again and again, but for anybody who's new here, my happiness is not exactly on Karen's vision board. I'm kind of like a glass half full kind of person. So honestly, I'm just thankful that she didn't rip my pants. You guys could just hold on for a second. Stanley wants my hair clip. Hold on, it's falling out. Oh my God, you're beautiful. What a handsome boy. I don't care what she says. I'm still calling it a good day. Karen, she did not call you an extra. She said you were being extra, which is the truth. Listen to me, I'm no expert. I'm just a nonsense farmer. But I would say one of the keys to being a great actor is having really good timing. She's so good. A true professional. We all know you're the star of the show. I don't know what's going on here, but I'm just... I don't like it. 